Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Selenium WebDriver, I'm going to practically demonstrate how to handle dynamic XPath expressions. So let's get started. First of all, let's understand what exactly are these dynamic XPath expressions and how to use them in Selenium automation. For that, you have to follow this session where I'm going to practically demonstrate this for you. Here is an example I'm going to practically demonstrate in this session. That is, I'll go to this website, okay? Using Selenium Python script, I'm going to go to this website. And on this website, if I scroll down on this page, there is a section here containing a set of links. You see one, two, three, four, five links are there. So I'll click on these links one by one using this dynamic XPath expressions, okay? That's what I'm going to demonstrate in this session. Using Selenium Python script, I'm going to use this dynamic, dynamic XPath expressions for clicking this set of links here on this page one by one. Okay, so let's get started. For that, I'll switch to this uh, PyCharm ID where we have some sample Selenium Python code already written for opening the Chrome browser for maximizing the browser window. And here I have to open the application URL. I'll copy this application URL and paste it here. And after going to that application URL, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a dynamic XPath expression using which I'm going to click on this links in this particular section on this page one by one. Okay, I'm going to click one by one, okay? So how to write that code? First of all, I have to create the dynamic XPath expression, right? So before I create some dynamic XPath expression, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this logic for i in range of, this values I have to give one comma something. I have to give one comma something. I'll, I'll tell you how to write this code. Otherwise, I'll not write this code, no. Rather, I'll go to this uh, application page with this section containing a set of links are there, which I have to click one by one in this particular session. I'll inspect somewhere on this page and I'll get this Google Chrome DevTools here. I'll select this uh, inspect option and uh, I'll select this section. Okay, I'll just select this entire section like this. And here, this UL tags are there containing list of elements here. On the top, we have this div containing ID. I'll take this ID. I'll create an XPath expression. I'll simply say double slash div at the rate ID is equal to, I'll give the ID of that uh, div section. Under this div section only, this section is available. Okay, so under this div, Somewhere here, we have this li and under the li, we have this anchor tag. So else again, say double slash a. If I press enter, you see this uh, five links got located, you see, first compendium dev, one of five means compendium dev, then only testing, you can see on the UI. When I click on this down button, you can see the UI testing wisely, jQuery UI, the automation tester. You see, these five links are getting located with the help of this XPath expression. What if I want to find the first uh, link for that, I have to surround this, XPath expression with self square bracket. And here I have to provide in square brackets, I have to provide one. If I press enter, you see only one element will be located. That is nothing but this compendium dev. After that, if I change it to two, then second link is getting located. Now, if I change it to three, third link, then four, then five, fifth the link. Like that, one, two, three, four, five, I can give. For now, I'll give one here. I'll copy this XPath expression, which can go from one to five. If I give one in this XPath expression, this XPath expression will locate this link if i give five here it will look in the last link like that okay based on the given index here it will locate so this xpath expression can be customized right i mean you know the value of that okay this this particular value can be customized if you give one it's locating the first link if i give two like that okay so there's a possibility that this xpath expression can be converted into a dynamic xpath expression where i would like to dynamically give the value here I would like to dynamically give some value here based on that value it will locate the required link in this section copy this and come back here and write the code here for okay for i in range of starting with what what, what value should be there in this place of one starting with one okay from one to up to five means i have to give six here okay six means six minus one that is up to five like this i would write now i'll write something like this uh x path Text is equal to XPath text is equal to in double quotes. I'll paste this sample XPath expression, which is locating one of the link here because one is mentioned there. So it will locate the first link. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to break this. Okay. I'm going to convert this normal XPath expression, which is loc locating only one link in that section into a dynamic XPath expression. How? Here, before one, I'll provide double quote and put on plus symbol. And here, after one, also I'll put a plus symbol line. So I separated this part and this part. I'm concatenating this part with uh, this one. But here, in place of one, I'll provide i. Okay. You see, I'm making this converting this uh, normal XPath expression into dynamic XPath expression where 
in this for loop the first iteration the value of i will be 1 so 1 will come here but here there is a problem in python where you know you cannot concatenate a string with a number in python so you have to convert that i into string how str of you have to write str of i this will convert the i into string and concatenate with the remaining portion of the string so like this i have created dynamic xpath expression in the first iteration the value of i will be 1 so here in this xpath expression here the square brackets 1 will be there in the second iteration i will become 2 here 2 will be there it will locate a second link in third iteration 3 will be there it will locate the third link okay now what i want to do is i want to perform the operation on that driver dot find elements by dot xpath i will say by dot xpath i will give this xpath text there and what i want to do on that link i want to click on the link okay first in the first iteration it will generate the first this dynamic xpath expression will be locating the first link and we'll be using that to click on the first link after clicking on the link what i'll do i'll browse back driver dot back okay let's say here i am here i'll click on this first link i'll be taken to another web page and now i'll browse back then after browsing back i'll click on the second link it will take you to another page you see here what's happening on the page it will take you to another page i'll browse back now i'll click on the third link it will take you to another page and browse back fourth link take you to another page and browse back fifth link take you to another page browse back like this okay like that one by one link in this particular section i am going to click let's see that okay with the help of this dynamic xpath expression after browsing back that's it right so here i have to close the browser here i have to close the browser after all the links are clicked one by one but for demo purpose this will be very fast so for demo purpose what i'm going to do is i am going to add time dot sleep let's say two seconds only okay before uh, after going to this page uh, before clicking on that uh, any of the link in that section uh, i'm just waiting for two seconds after after clicking i'll wait for after clicking and loading the page i'll wait for two more seconds like this okay and here also i'll add that uh, time dot sleep of two seconds before closing the browser just for demo purpose i am adding the time dot sleep here and there run the script and observe what's going to happen with the help of this dynamic xpath expression okay the, uh, the, uh, the links in that particular section are going to be clicked one by one you can see that now open the application url that is omea.blogspot.com let it open after that after two seconds it will click on the first link you see compendium dev link has been clicked in the bottom you can see that it will take you to another page after two seconds it will browse back now it's going to click on the second link in that section that is only testing blog is being clicked after two seconds it will browser back browse back now third link will be clicked with the help of dynamic xpath expression we are able to achieve this one by one link we are able to click one by one right so every iteration the i value is being changed and that particular uh, link is position link is being clicked under that section this kind of things are possible with the help of dynamic xpath expressions you see fifth link has been clicked browse back after two seconds it will close the browser that's it you see we are able to with the help of this script we are able to click link one by one in that section okay and this is all possible with the help of this dynamic xpath expressions Hope guys, you understood how to handle dynamic expert expressions in Selenium automation. So that's all for this session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Bye-bye.